Hey rainbows and welcome back to another castle and palace showcase video. So today's video we are going to be showing off your guys' builds from the gallery. I've done one of these videos before so I will put a link in the description below to that video so you guys can go check out some more castles and palaces if you have not seen that yet. So I will be showing you guys five more castles today and they're just amazing and beautiful and I've gotten a few different varieties of them too so I'm so so excited to show you guys so if you're excited too make sure you hit that like button and let's go ahead and take a look at these palaces. So all of the builds that I am featuring today, they don't have any custom content and they also are made by the original creator, which I have downloaded this from. So it's not like a renovated palace of someone else. So those are the requirements. If you did want your castle or palace to be featured in one of my future videos of this, cause I'll probably do something like this every few months or so. So if you want to be featured in the future, make sure you use the hashtag mirror ray builds and I will also put that in the description below and then yeah just make sure there's no custom content and also make sure that it is a castle that you are building on your own so yeah but the first one we are starting with today this is called the Windenburg Palace by Joey J05 and it is amazing and gorgeous we're just going to I'll just like show you guys like of course you guys have seen the outside of this right now it's beautiful I love this like sky bridge right here that connects the second floor and then I will just show you guys like real quick the insides of each of them too. All right so we're starting here on the first floor. It looks like the main entrance is just like straight ahead here. I love this staircase here. I love like the dark wood with everything too. So this looks like the foyer area. They have a small pool pack here. We have a few bedrooms down here as well. This is cool. This looks like an area. It kind of looks like a debate area. Ooh, oh, oh, is this a portrait room? Or I guess this is where they do like the broadcasting stuff, like how the Queen of England, she does like a Christmas broadcast and all that. That is so cool. And then we have a library here and then we have a portrait room too. I want to put up the walls. Yeah, we have a portrait room also. And then we have, I guess this is like the dining room it looks like, or maybe it's like the board meeting room. Oh, and I love these doors. I think these are from university. And then we have like the ballroom right over here. So that is the first floor. And then we have our second floor. I'll just put down some of the walls so we can see. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to also share. So I downloaded some of your guys' townies too. I downloaded the ones that didn't have custom content content because I didn't want them to show up bald and stuff when I downloaded them. I didn't want to have to like go through adding a bunch of stuff on them too. So this is the Knowles Royals by Ethan201030. So that is who I have placed in this palace at the moment. If you want your townies to be featured too, then you can use the hashtag #MirrorRayTownies on the gallery. But yeah, okay. So the second floor. Oh, this is so, oh, this is so cool. We have our kitchen up here. Oh, banquet room. This is a banquet room. This is cool. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, and then they have like two bars here that are like back to back. The person to who made this Joey, he had reached out to me on Twitter and suggested like, well, actually, so if you haven't seen a video on my channel before, so I have a Royal Family series. So for my Royal Family series, for my Windenburg Royal Family, the creator of this castle had suggested that maybe Queen Amira and Prince Consort Jabari, that they would want to renovate the Windenburg Palace. Um, I just did that like at the end of season one. So I don't think we're going to be renovating the Windenburg Palace anytime soon. But yeah, definitely make sure you guys download this one because this is so cool. This this is like, they've literally thought of everything. This is like where royals can like try on their outfits and stuff from like the designers. <gasps> oh, these rooms are so cool. Okay, so then this is a bedroom here. And then in here, it looks, oh, this is so cool. It looks like another broadcast or portrait room. So yeah, this is cool. The whole second floor, I mean, this is awesome. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the third floor. I just love the red and the dark wood on this. Like it's very themed and I like that a lot. This is like, a royal artifacts room. It's kind of like a museum. And then this looks like it is the king and queen's bedroom. Okay, and then so that is all of the upper level. So then we have a basement too. So this looks like a crypt or it actually, it has instead of urns, it has coffins. And then in here we have vaults. Oh yeah, I, oh, so they're, oh, that's cool. Oh, I love this. Okay, yeah. So that is our first palace. This is called the Windenburg Palace again in the gallery. I will put also the information for each of the palaces and royal families in the video description below too. It's beautiful. I love the all white. I can't make a castle like this. This is gorgeous. And I love that it has like levels of everything too. I love architecture so, so much. I'm not a builder at all. I can't build things, but I can admire it from afar. So our second 
palace is a little bit different. I think it's so cool. This is definitely for like a darker, like a vampire royal family or a spellcaster royal family or something like that. Even the Sims family that I downloaded is a vampire royal family. So this palace is called Von Gul Royal Castle and it is made by Mimi K-Y-U-A-R-T. And then the royal family that I used is by J-J-M-D-N and they are called the Vampire Royal Family. So this is the outside. I love this so much. Okay, we're going to start on the main floor. This is the main entrance. This is the foyer. I always love double staircases like this. They're just amazing. I'm so glad The Sims added that. We have a throne room. I love throne rooms so much. And that's a gorgeous one. I love the flooring in here. This is amazing. We have a little meeting room here and the kitchen, a storage room. This is a beautiful banquet room. I love this. This is like, this is gorgeous for like a wedding. Oh, and the purple and everything too. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this because I want it for ideas for mine as well. And then on the other side of the palace, we have a little music room. Ooh, look at this like green. This is so cool. It's like, it looks like Slytherin colors. That's awesome. And we even have a magic realm portal in here. So there's that too. So definitely for like spellcasters or something. And then if we go on the second floor, so in here, we have another magic portal. We have a bedroom up here. We have a study. It looks like this might be their portrait room possibly. And we have another bedroom here. This is amazing. I love the style of this. Okay, and then we're on the third floor. And then, yeah, basically just like of several living rooms. And I miss, yeah, and also some bedrooms too. It looks like they made this cool canopy bed just out of curtains and stuff. And then we have another bedroom here. This little like light pink one is so cute and so pretty. We have, this looks like the king or queen study. So I think it's just, is it, oh no, it's four floors. Wow, so on the fourth floor we have, is this a bedroom? There's a bathroom, yeah, it's a bedroom. So yeah, it's own like private quarters up here for a bedroom. I think it's just, yeah, it's just four floors. So then we have a basement, I think, yes we do. So we have the servants quarters down here and then we have, they're on the same level of like the crypt and stuff, that's kind of spooky. But it's cool that the coffins are like in the walls. So maybe the servants like don't even know that the coffins are there, that there's dead bodies on the same floor as them. Okay, so yeah, that is our second one. I just, I love this. I love the dual tones. I love the, the red brick and then the white brick too. There's so much detail in this one. It's beautiful, you guys. If you have any vampire or spellcaster royal families, I definitely recommend downloading this palace. Okay, so our third palace is an Asian inspired one. I love this one so much. I had such a hard time finding, cause I have, if you haven't seen my series yet, I have made Glimmerbrook into an Asian inspired kingdom. And I had such a hard time finding Asian palaces that were small enough to fit in a 40 by 30 lot. So this person tagged me in theirs and it's gorgeous. I might renovate, we might have the Glimmerbrook Palace renovated in our Royal Family series and use this one instead because the one that I use is like on a big hill and the camera controls for it freak out every time I'm on that lot. Well, let's go see it because I haven't actually seen the whole thing yet. Also, oh yeah, let me show you who this is by. So this is called the Glimmerbrook Palace. So this person has seen my series, which makes me so happy. And it's by Luna underscore Jewel. And then the Sims that I use for this. So these are like my favorite characters from um, this Instagram story that I read. And the creator, her name is Evie. So her Instagram name is S. E-O-K-I-S-M-I-C. -I -I so I had already downloaded them. If you follow me on Instagram, I had downloaded them and I was procrastinating one day and I was like, I really wanna take pictures of them. So I had already had them like dressed up and stuff in my library. But if you wanna download the originals on the gallery, her name is S-E-O-K-I-S-M. So a little bit different from her Instagram name. But this one is Miso and then the other one is Reese. And they're so cute. They're my favorites. I love them so much. But yeah, so let's look at the palette. I love this already so, so much. Okay, but there's like this one, so there's one part of the building that is here. So it looks like almost like a little cafe area, which is kind of cool. So I'm assuming this is where they eat and stuff. And then we have a little, oh, we have a little tea garden here too. I love this, this is so cool. And then if you go up here, oh, cool. Okay, so immediately it like goes into the throne area, which is very cool. And then back here, we have another dining area for like big parties. And we have the kitchen and then we have, a 
I'm assuming this is like the servant room right here. I'm on the second floor. Ooh, we have a spa. That's cool. So we have a spa here on the other building. It looks like the other building just has a first floor, but yeah, that's cool. I might, like I usually renovate palaces just to like acquire to my taste when I do download palaces because I don't build my own palaces. I download palaces and then I renovate the insides how I want to. And then on the third floor here, we have just like a little hobby room and a bathroom and a little study area here too. And it looks like this is the office for the monarch or for the emperor. Um, and then we have like a little game area here too. And then it's, so it looks like, cause this is what it's like on my current Glimmerbrook Palace too, their bottom floor is where most of the rooms are. We have like a little bar here too, and then a little living room, and then a bathroom, and then one of the bedrooms are down here, and then it looks like the rest of the bedrooms are down here. And I think, yeah, it looks like that is all the floors. But yeah, I'll probably just expand this a little bit when I download this, but I definitely think that I'm going to be replacing my Glimmerbrook Palace with this. So yeah, but this is the Glimmerbrook Palace in the gallery, so I'll put that information in the video description. And this is our fourth palace, so we will have one one more after this. It is called St. Catherine Palace, and this is by Riley, R-Y-L-E-Y-05 underscore three. And then the townie that I borrowed for this is the Nelson household made by Maddie, M-A-D-D-Y, K-A-S-P. So this is the main level. So when you enter here, it looks like everything's like gold. This is the banquet room. This is awesome. Oh, this is the throne room and the ballroom. I love this. Oh, I love this design, you guys. Oh, I love this. I love that the thrones are up here, but then the ballroom and everything is down here. Ooh, yeah, no, okay, I like that a lot. And then we have one of the bedrooms here, and then on the second floor, we have most of the bedrooms are all up here, it looks like. Oh, and the, okay, so then it looks like this is just like very tall ceilings. And then we go on the third floor, we have, it looks like this is the king and queen's room. I think it's just three, yes, so it's three levels tall, and then the basement, oh, okay, so this is, oh, this is the, where their kitchen is. So this is where the servants go to like cook and everything. So yeah, that is the St. Catherine's Palace. So our final palace is amazing. Guys, look at this. This is, this is so, so cool. This is gorgeous. I love Sulani so, so much. And something like this is just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is called Castle of Sulani. And this is by AZ. D-A-Y-Z-E-D. -E and then the sim that I am using to live in this palace right now, the household name is Mahuka. I think his name is, yeah, it's like Matthew. And this is by Ethan. 201030. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Where's the, I don't even know which one's the front. Where's the entrance? How do you get into this palace? Oh, oh, here I think. Oh, okay, so yeah, so there's a door down here and then it looks like you just, oh, so you have to go down to actually enter. So this is how you enter is right over here. Oh, there's, wait, there's magic realm portals in here. Well, that's interesting. So then you have to go up, ooh, look at the, whoa, guys, look at these stairs. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've never seen stairs like that before. That's amazing. They just keep on going. Oh my gosh. Oh, no wonder they have magic portals. Who wants to walk up these stairs every day just to enter their house? Gosh, okay, anyway. So then you're brought up here. So then you enter here. This is the royal banquet room. There's this, and then we have the kitchen in here, and then a bathroom over here, and they even have a hot tub. So then if you go up another level, we have a bedroom in here. And then we have an outdoor patio space here. Yeah, can you just imagine having like social events and then just being able to like look out onto the beautiful, gorgeous world. That is amazing. Yeah, we have some bedrooms up here and a few bathrooms. And then if you go up another level, this looks like a little living room area here. And then if you go up another level, I think this is the top level. This is like kind of like their living room, I guess. Oh, and the patio. Oh, that's, oh, this is a window. Okay, that's inside. I thought that was outside for a second, but you can see like, like that's a sunroom. Like you can get so much sunlight through there. And then if we go down, I think there was another basement level. If we go down one, oh, another one. Oh, another one. Oh God, oh, okay. Whoa, this is like really hidden. I feel like this is where you store secret things. And then we have like vaults and stuff down here. Like this is definitely where you store some secret things. Whoa, there's like a, huh, oh my gosh. It's like this magical, garden with a lake. Whoa, what? That is amazing. <gasps> Guys, this is an awesome pat. What is this? Oh, it's called a grow fruit tree. Okay. I don't know what that is. Wow. <gasps> wow. 
Oh, is that all the floors? Yeah, I think that's all the floors. Oh my gosh, there's so many stairs in this palace, you guys. That was our last one. It's amazing and beautiful. I highly recommend checking out these palaces on your own in the gallery. They don't have any custom content, so if you play on console, then you should be able to download them as well. I did get some requests to upload my own palaces without any custom content for those who do play on console, so that way they actually show up for you guys. So I will I will definitely work on, on doing that for you, just so they show up. But yeah, so that is all the palaces in today's videos. I hope you guys enjoyed them and appreciate them as much as I do because they're amazing and you guys are such talented builders. Again, check out the video description for the information on how to download these palaces. And then also if you want to submit for a future video, which I'll probably do in a few months, you guys can find that information in the video description below as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!